I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, assemble scuba equipment. So the first thing that you always want to check when you're going to assemble scuba equipment is the, that you have an O-ring actually in the channel on the tank valve. The second thing you'd always want to do is go ahead and get the straps on the vest wet um, because what's going to happen is, is the straps are going to stretch a little bit when you, uh, when you put it onto the tank. You want to go ahead and slide the BCD on the tank and this is a tank adjustment strap. This should be about the same height as the top of the, the collar of the vest. You've got a clamp here that basically you're going to pull across. You do need to make sure that you don't catch your fingers actually in between this, this clamp here. This is your regulator. And the easiest way to do this is if you're standing behind the, the tank, your regulators need to go in the right, uh, right position here. I'm going to go ahead and slide the first stage onto the valve. And you'd go ahead and snug this yoke screw up. And one of the next things that you would do is actually hook up the low pressure inflator hose. And this has a quick disconnect collar on it. Now we're ready to actually turn on our air. And I want to turn the valve all the way on and then back about a quarter of a turn. The next thing I do is check my pressure gauge to make sure that it actually is reading the correct pressure of the tank, which in this case is 3000 PSI. I would go ahead and actually hook up my um, gauges to my, my vest. I want to go ahead and check the, the alternate air source by purging it and then go ahead and take two nice deep breaths off the, off the regulator. We'd go ahead and put that in the octo holder, which is right here. And do the same thing with my primary regulator. So I'd want to go ahead and press the red button on this vest and make sure that it's going to inflate and deflate. Now I want to go ahead and check the, uh, that the BCD is inflating and deflating correctly. And I pull on my other deflator to make sure that that one is, is working as well. 